We know that which is true through our own experiences and through what we have observed, but we also know what is true by how we feel. We know what resonates with us, and we are a large enough collective consciousness to be able to trust what we are feeling. In other words, when we come together as a collective and something feels true to all of us as this collective, it becomes easier for us then to trust that it is in fact true. A drop into your heart, lift from your heart, that knows the eternal, the infinite, the limitless. Your heart is the center of all your guidance, your inspiration, your cues for word, your heart knows the way. You can say it is really the brain of the creative operation, giving your mind the illusion of control, for your mind is where the ego dwells and constructs itself. The big heart, your sacred heart is where the divine dwells, who out of infinite love allows this game to go from the ego's perspective. Because it wants the ego to know, to understand, to choose, to be free, because the divine itself is free and knows no bondage. It is time to heal, it is time to release the pain in your heart, it is time to let go, it is time to forgive. It is time to love, deeper, fuller, more beautifully than you ever have thought possible. The time gates have held your thinking in an organized structure that has served humanity up until now. As long as you had the security of the four walls and the ceiling to rely upon, you felt safe. By moving your awareness into a flexible future, you will find that the time can take you out any situation into a probable new future. This is done by lifting up your thoughts and moving your consciousness out of the painted corner you camp in. Time doors and time experiences are inching their way towards all of the ancient and modern artifacts of power. When a time door is opened, it affects the molecular spin of the entire planet, even though you are moving as fast as you can in your mind. Everyone observes time differently. The molecular spin of life has finally slowed enough to look at itself, revealing where they are rips and tears in the time zones. It is time to move your awareness out of the past and move forward into a future that has been seeded for you. Time as you know it is under construction, and the red direction is in progress. They too are just temporarily trying that belief on four sides, and they too will shift, evolve, and develop new beliefs and new belief systems as they go. Now, why are beliefs important? You might wonder. They are important because your life is a self-fulfilling prophecy. You get what you focus on and what you expect. If you only have had experiences that tell you that this one thing is true, then how do you change that belief without first changing your experiences? Good question. Recognize that you have only been experiencing one life out of 8 billion there on Earth. And of those 8 billion lives that are being lived right now, you have only observed a very small fraction of what other people have experienced. Therefore, you must conclude that the lens through which you have been experiencing reality is quite narrow. You have the option of expanding that lens out to be able to see more than you've ever seen before, and that is a good intention to set for yourselves. 
Tell the universe to bring you evidence of something that you want to see evidence of, so that you can change your belief about that thing. Tell the universe that you are open to shifting your beliefs of something. Ask for experiences that will help you to question everything that you think you know. And finally, start using your ability to feel in order to determine whether something is true for you in this moment or not. The outside is beautiful playing ground for you to play, to enjoy, to express. It never defines you, it never has control over you. But when you give power to the mind alone, to the ego alone, then you are in a trouble. For you will find you need to keep fighting, proving, fixing, changing and controlling. In other words, you will find things are out of your hands. But when you tune to your heart, it will tell you all is actually perfect. And that you are seeing it this way, as imperfect, from the ego's view, the mind's view, which is extremely limited to be able to see beyond, to be able to see a bigger picture. Your heart is the key to move forward in light, in love, in joy. For your heart knows the way forward, and knows it blindfolded. To live from your heart is to live from love, to see it all from the eyes of love, like a mother watching her child. With so much love, free from any judgment, with a heart full of hopeful expectation, for she desires the best for her child. As the sands of time slide through the portals of all that is sacred, seen and unseen, humanity's hope is revealed as it is seen in a full spectrum of possibility. As time begins her journey towards herself, her place of preference, she asks you to not give up on what lies in your heart. The universe has placed within you a seed that cannot be sown into the pocket of another. The universe has placed in you a time mark that asks to be viewed under the eye of truth. The unknowable becomes seen in the holes of time, which were once sealed. That which has been emptied now becomes full, freeing itself from explanation. There is nothing to let go of, you are simply free to explore all that you are. A realm shift awakens from a long slumber to escort you into the cornerstone where time and space 